Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Michael. I'm coming to you from Shenzhen, and this series will be about my life here in China. These first few videos, I think, will be mostly me, <laughs> pretty stream of consciousness. Whatever I see, I'll oh, camera, 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 open it up and let you guys glimpse life in China, China, as we say here. And yeah, as we get through these things, and I start to you know blah, 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 get all that stuff out of my system, I think I have a feeling this will start to go somewhere. But right now, I don't know where it's gonna go, so I'm just gonna show you my life in China, because I've gotten a lot of requests from my family and friends. What's China like? And it's impossible to tell somebody, and it takes forever too. Okay, so you know, blah 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 blah, and blah 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 blah. So I'll just show you. You guys can watch. A picture is worth a thousand words, and so. One second, Daniel. So one second of picture is 30 frames. So 30,000 words times a minute is 60. 30,000 times 60, 100, 1,800,000 words is one minute of video. And this is about how long that's been. So there we go. Shut up, and we'll get to the next part. What? All right, here we are, waiting for the train. We're over here at Window of the World, in kind of the dingy subway air subway station. It's a uh, it was nice when it opened, it's a little bit dark now. It's all right, it works. Better than New York City. And um, yeah, I'll give you guys a view. I hope these are interesting. Before I came to Shenzhen a few years ago, I was fascinated. I watched a lot of YouTube videos from this South African guy. I wonder if he's still here uh, about that. Yeah, not too much to see. What does that say? I can read a little bit of Chinese. That's two, R. Are something yeah all <laughs> So you'll hear Chinese people say all oh. Did I write what should the the I said it correctly. Alright. Chinese have very, very interesting style. I'm excited to show you some of the shirts with the messages that they have on because they don't know what they say. And some of them are very, very interesting. For example, I saw a lady with the hat that said something like, I'm very special, or something, I'm very special, comma, so luck you. Maybe she was saying lucky you, or maybe she was saying, luck you, I don't know. But that hat said luck you, which is something I've never seen before. Here's some dudes checking me out with the camera. Very interesting to see a foreigner around these parts. Yeah, my Some shops. Some nudes, some bikes, some people, blah de blah. All right, so yeah, this is a Shenzhen street. A lot of people. Kind of quiet today. Today is a holiday, and so not a lot of people are working. Mostly chilling. Walk in. Here's a fire. Oh, this is cool. All right, so today is the it's called Tomb Sweeping Day in Chinese Qingmingjie, and. It's like where they recognize their ancestors, because without them, there'd be no them. And she gave me a weird look. I'm gonna sneakily put the camera back. Where'd she go? There it, can you see her? I don't know. Anyway, she had a fire that she was burning, some paper, and my friend said one time, he saw the paper was money. <laughs> and the money on it was like, you know, paper money, like Monopoly money. But on it, it said Bank of Hell, <laughs> which I thought was super funny. But yeah, there was a cool Buddhist shrine there, but I didn't want to be a dick and go, hey, what are you doing? What's going on? But I will for these girls. Hey, need a go jiao shen me ming a. Mei ming a. Jiao dao dao. Jiao dao dao. Jiao dao dao. They're super cute. Bye bye. A little bit shy, but that's to be expected around these parts. Ah, there, there's that guy. He's burning the money for his ancestors on grave sweeping day. Dang it, there it is. He's he's burning the banknotes from the bank of hell. <laughs> so a friend of mine was he's been here in China for 16 years now, and he was telling me he was playing poker a few years back or a long time ago. I don't remember, and they were using the money for the, the ancestors' money, the, 
his friend had a Chinese wife and he didn't know that it was super important and he said that the wife came home and saw they were using that money and freaked out and went, oh, don't use that money! Anyway, I thought it was really funny. All right, we're going by a Buddhist shrine. I'm gonna switch the camera. Everybody's looking at me for some reason. I wonder why. All right, so you can see on the left, pretty cool. Pretty cool, just on the side of the street. And it smells so good. I'm just gonna burn some stuff. That's cool. All right, here we are at KK1. Look at that beautiful building and the nice cloud too. Here's old Tian, the older part of Shenzhen. Let's cross the street. Be careful, because we might get hit. We don't want that. Taxi. I think I'm going to teach you guys some Chinese as we go forward in this multiple part series. Look at that big ass building. That is the tallest building in China. Does anybody were and work at the Hey something something Ching Fun Look? High life. Don't scan it. And you can sip coffee with these four stormtroopers and work in a Star Destroyer. Hello. And work at the 3D Coffice. How about that? I wonder when they were making Star Wars 40 years ago, if they had any idea that it would be this big. All right, we got some shops. Chinese people love to eat way more than Americans. This is what a Chinese shopping mall looks like. Demon. <laughs> on, on the road again. Let's <laughs> just. Oh. I had to get that out there. All right, so we're on the road again. We're gonna meet our next friend at Lianhua Shan. Beautiful park, my favorite park in Shenzhen. Yeah, more than Shenzhen Bay. This place is nice, you will like it. We're gonna have a nice sunset evening, little get together with a girl that I met a few months ago and finally get a chance to see her again. Just saw a guy wearing an American flag on his shirt. I don't have one. But he did, and I wanted to say that in China, there are about 10 times as many people wearing American flag stuff on their cars, on their clothes, all that stuff, hi, as, as they are in America. So yeah, China loves the USA, at least the Chinese. Don't believe the stuff on the TV. That's a bunch of crap, in my opinion. When I tell people I'm from America, oh, that are good, like that. And that's just how they talk, it's not racist. So, yeah, ooh, whoa, she just walked right into the back of She just walked straight into the thing. I need to be careful, I won't get hit by a car. Don't want that. All right, safely crossing, and. All right, here we go, about to exit the train at kinda sunset. This is a nice shot. Oh wait, we're not here. But there's Fu that's nice. There's the library. That thing's cool, they built it in Minecraft. Hello. And yeah, that's a, oh, that's a nice view, let's check it out. Hey everybody. You wanna see? <laughs> no, you're shy. So I just played a Chinese song and everybody came and looked and they were very happy. I wanna show you, it's about sunset right now at beautiful Lian Huashan. The weather is so beautiful. The is so Who wants to buy a kite? Hey, that's everybody. Nice. We are in Shenzhen. Hi. And uh, yeah, look at this. This is awesome. That's a book. That's a library there. Do you guys want to buy some candy? You want to buy some bread? The bread man? You guys want to buy some stuff? Anyway, this is really pretty. So, that was my day here in Shenzhen, back at the Hizzy. Thank you. Had some chips, thanks to my friend who brought them over. Not gonna say his name, not gonna tell you. He's really handsome though. He is. And um, yeah, we'll see you another day. Hope you like this video, Bye bye